Hello, my name is Sophie from Fia Lotte on Design and this is the fourth video in our series with Personal Planner. In this fourth video we're gonna do decorative letters, adding decoration and small details to your letters. Okay, let's start simple once more. Capital letters and for the decorative letter style I want to create a space, one space per letter, uh, that I can fill with some kind of decoration. And now I'm gonna go back to the rule or guideline we used in the script lettering video. So when you have a downstroke, the line will be thicker. And we can apply this when doing the decorative style. So the first downstroke I make on a letter will be wider to create a space I can decorate. So here, that's the first stroke I do on this letter. So that will be the wider part. Alright, and then I can decorate it. Here I'm gonna just make sample stripes. I'm gonna I'm gonna draw the words decorate me. So next one is E. Down stroke. Okay, that one be one will be thick. And these will be thin. Because they're horizontal. Like stones on a beach. Right, and I'll continue. Uh down and here I can just draw a straight line on the inside of C to create this space I want to decorate. And then if I have an O but I do not want to make this straight strict line inside the letter then I can just round it a bit to make it a bit softer like that. And then I'll continue with the rest of the letters. When doing an M, I start at the bottom of the first vertical line. So I do an up stroke, which should be thin, and a down stroke, and I make that thick. Up stroke thin, and down stroke thick. With lettering, there are no actual right or wrongs. Um, mostly it's how do I like my letter to look in this word. So these are guidelines to help you kind of build your letter uh, to see how, how it stands tall, stands straight, stands firm. But if it looks better another way, then you can do it. So I'm going to show you three three different kinds of S's, how you can do an S. Like that. The first S I'm gonna do this way, to have a strict line on the inside of the openings, like that, and then I can decorate it like this. I might want a softer line, that's a bit bended, to make a softer outlook. Or I can use this guide to make the third and last S. So 
horizontal, thin, down stroke, all the way down. Then I'm going to continue on the other side of the original line. Down stroke, like that. So now you have the thick part balanced in the middle of the S. And then you can decorate it. I'm also going to show you an N. If you follow this guideline, then an N should be like up thin, down thick, up thin. Here you have an end that's balanced. You have the balance in the middle of the end and you have a letter form that is moving forward. But if you're gonna write an N in your word and all the other letters have the decoration on the left side, then you can put your thicker part decorated part on that side of the end because it's it suit it suits with the other works better in the whole piece so here again play with your letter forms don't be afraid to try worst case you have to erase or best you will get a new letter form that looks amazing so don't be afraid, letter, and have fun.